Hello! <laughs> uh, okay, that's dumb. Hello everybody, what is up? My name is Mike Stoner Up Years and welcome to another exciting episode of Mike Stoner Updates, the series where I tell you about what's going on behind the scenes in a video format. Um, so, <laughs> this is a lot. L last night, uh, I actually tried recording this video and I sat here for an hour and 12 minute take. <laughs> um, so, I didn't even realize until I got over and, and checked the footage and I was like, oh my god, that's how long it was? Um, so, now I'm actually, <laughs> like, I'm really, I, I really want to cut that time down and make this video watchable for you guys. Um, so, I'm actually going to be cutting the, what I'm talking about into two different videos. I actually, I have so many topics to talk about, you guys. I filled up two sticky notes, like, crammed full of topics. Um, so, I'm actually doing two separate update videos. Um, the first one is going to be talking about Kingdom Hearts, uh, Kingdom Hearts 2, um, aka 358 over Kingdom Hearts 2 days. Um, and the second video I will be releasing after this one is going to be about general, generally about my resolutions 2018, 2019, and uh, and my new revealing my unveiling my 2020 resolutions for the channels and all my content and stuff. Um, but it's going to be about a lot more than that, honestly. Um, I'm a little bit wary to separate Kingdom Hearts from the rest of the update because I'm afraid nobody will want to watch the other one as much as this one. But I I seriously urge you guys to watch the other update when it comes out because I do have important questions in that video that will literally, like you guys, can help me shape my channel um, going forward. Um, so I'll be talking about all my aspirations and stuff and things that I've done recently in that video, so please check that out when it comes out. Uh, but for now, let's talk about Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I am going to try to be quick here. Um, I honestly don't have a ton of stuff to go over. Um, just giving you guys the breakdown. Oh yeah, so the theme for this episode, um, I, don't, I, I feel the urge to do something different every one of these update videos. Um, Chelsea's parents just got us this little like heater, this little fireplace thing, and um, I had to set it up anyway, and I was like setting it up yesterday, and I was like, I should use this for the video, it's a good prop. And, and so I got the tree right here, and this blanket, this blanket is like the softest blanket in the universe, okay? <laughs> this is like a, a wicked expensive throw blanket that Chelsea got me, and it is so soft, you guys. It's so soft. Uh, it's wicked comfortable, and I like the color, and, uh, and the main thing that Chelsea picked it out for... Um, she got it for me for Christmas because um, I always complain about our throw blankets that we have on the couch are not long enough to have them like up at my neck and then have them still reach all the way down to my feet. Um, so she got this because it's like a full sized blanket or whatever and I love it so much. Uh, so I feel like it really completes the scene um, for this video. Um, anyways, Kingdom Hearts 2 talk. What's going on with it? Where is it, Mike? Well, uh, if you don't remember, uh, in the last video of Kingdom Hearts uh, Reverse Rebirth, I announced, I dropped the bomb that I would be taking a short hiatus, a short, no, not even short, I'd be taking a break um, that could possibly last six months, and then I doubled down on that in my last update video when I believe I said, um, I would be launching Kingdom Hearts 2 in 2020, early 2020, and I've been responding to comments lately, reminding people like, hey, Kingdom Hearts 2 is going off in 2020. Um, and, and by the way, if any of you have left me comments in like the past, like, oh my god, like two years or something, and I have not responded to them, I sincerely apologize. I did not know that they existed. Um, I'd been complaining for a little while now. I think it even was back in when I was doing Kingdom Hearts uh, Reverse Rebirth and Rechain and stuff. Um, I've been complaining that I was not getting notifications 
about comments on my videos anymore like I used to when I started. Um, and that's been very frustrating for me. Um, but I actually just recently, like a couple of months ago, found a feature in the new YouTube Creator Studio that allows me to look at all of my comments and filter them by ones that I have not responded to yet. And so I discovered that there are many, many comments that I have not yet responded to that I didn't even notice um, when you guys initially posted them. So uh, I did start getting back to a handful of them, but it's a lot to go through and I've also been kind of like juggling a lot of different things. Um, so I apologize if I have not gotten back to a comment of yours yet. I will try to get back to all of them uh, in due time. Um, but uh, yeah, so Kingdom Hearts 2, it is now 2020. Happy New Year, everybody. Um, I hope you all had a good holiday season if you celebrate and, uh, and hope you guys are excited for the new year. Um, Kingdom Hearts 2 talk. Um, so here's the dealio. By the end of this month, January, I will record the first session of Kingdom Hearts 2 um, with my sonar up yours. I'm very, very, very excited about it. Um, in preparation for this new Let's Play, I have actually been re-watching my Kingdom Hearts 1 playthrough. Um, watching, re-watching is not the correct word actually. When I'm at work, I've been putting it on and like listening to it um, while I'm working. And I am now on episode 48 out of the 50. So before I finish, before I record the first session, I will at least finish um, re-watching or re-listening to the Kingdom Hearts 1 playthrough. And, um, and I'll have that in mind. I will continue to to re-listen to um, and re-experience the Rechain playthrough as well. I'm just not sure if I'm going to get through all of that before I record Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, but just an FYI, I have been doing that. While I've been doing that, I have also been um, leaving a couple comments along the way, kind of reflecting and um, adding additional commentary um, from like, you know, 2020 modern Mike. Um, on those videos that are like now like two or three years old or something like that how long has it been oh my goodness um but yeah so i've been like i've been leaving updates on like things that i mentioned like stories that i talk about i add more context and stuff and i've been like suggesting like edits like hey at this timestamp, imagine if i'd put in this clip from this show or whatever um so i've been dropping a little comments a little comments all throughout that first playthrough. Um, so if you guys are ever re-watching, keep an eye out for those. Um, besides that, I've also been taking notes of highlightable moments. Um, and there are a lot of them. I should have brought it out here. I said the same thing yesterday when I recorded this. Um, I have like a stack on my piano back in my office of like 47 sticky notes like this, just like full of like jotted down timestamps um, from all the videos um, of like little fun moments that I would like to eventually turn into a highlight video um, or multiple highlight videos if it's like <laughs> it's like a ton um, but it's also crazy you guys I did not edit anything in those videos um, <laughs> like I like the the animated jokes and bits and like editing things that I do now that I've been doing in the rechain or at least the reverse rebirth series I can't even trust myself anymore I don't even know if I did it in the original rechain playthrough um like I was shocked because like that editing style and like all the animated like jokes and stuff have become like at least for me like synonymous with my channel I just hit the microphone there I think sorry about that um and it's just like crazy because like Throughout the entire Kingdom Hearts 1 playthrough, I have like barely made any editing jokes like that. It's in, it's, it's just incredible. <laughs> it's crazy to me, because it feels like it wasn't that long ago. But that also helps explain why when I started that series, I was posting like a video a day. <laughs> it's insane. I did make a, I did leave a comment on one of those moments. I, I think I was like, I'm so sorry guys, I'm only able to get like two or three videos out this week. <laughs> And I commented like laughing about it like just wait till you get to rechain and the videos are like coming out once every other month um, But but that leads me to a, to a my next topic, I guess um, 
I've obviously in Rechain and Reverse Rebirth, there was a big issue with consistency in the videos. I'm incredibly proud of the quality of the content, um, but I agree with like all of you that the output was not up to par. Um, and so now, uh, in Kingdom Hearts 2, I am going to make a couple changes to combat that issue and try to make my videos more consistent. Um, my goal is to have at least two videos out every month of Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, how I plan on doing that is um, making shorter but more consistent videos. Um, I'm planning on recording larger sessions and then cutting it down into smaller episodes. Um, which, as I've done previously, which is really what I did in the Kingdom Hearts 1 playthrough, like some of those videos, like a lot of those videos were close to like a half an hour, 45 minutes. Um, and I'd like to get back to doing that. Oh yeah, something else I, I just wanted to mention. I'm, I'm very proud of myself. I, I find it very charming. I was talking about how I didn't do like any editing in the first series. Um, and I'm still very proud of that series as well. It's very cool in hindsight to think that like, yo, I just carried that series by myself with my personality. <laughs> like now I just like, not that I like use the edits as a crutch, but like I just really like feel like the edits are what make an MSW video now. Um, so it was really cool to have to experience that series again and like I really enjoyed re-experiencing that over these past couple weeks and um, and like no edits were required for that so I'm, I'm pretty proud of that. Um, but that being said I definitely like I can't go forward without uh, doing those edits and stuff like that so um, that's why I'm not gonna say I'm gonna do a video every day because I'm not crazy. Um, but two videos a month at least is my goal, maybe more than that. Really I'm thinking one session a month and I might do like a two and a half hour session if I'm like really into it and I'm feeling it. And I don't know exactly how long the videos are going to be when I get to the 358 over two days portion of the Let's Play where I'm starting to intermingle those two games uh, and the cutscenes that is from the other game. Um, how that's going to affect video length. But I'm aiming for like around 45 minute episodes. And when I say that, you might think back on. <laughs> you might think about a video, a 45 minute Mike's and Beers video, a Kingdom Hearts video specifically, and think like, okay, so if the intro is 20 minutes long and the community questions and stuff, and the outro and the comment shout outs is like, 10 minutes long or 15 minutes long like what are we left with like 10 minutes of video 15 minutes of actual gameplay on a 45 minute video um <laughs> so that stuff was cool when i was doing hour and a half long videos for rechain um but <laughs> when i'm doing shorter videos i need to cut back on that so um a couple rules i've came up with is um from now on for kingdom hearts 2 and uh, 358 over two days. Um, I'm going to be limiting the community questions to one per video, not two. Um, so I think that's going to significantly cut back on intro time. Um, I'm gonna do one community question per video and I'm right at the start at least, I'm going to try to do uh, comment shout outs only at the end of the session, not individual videos. Um, of course, if I get a lot of comments from new people. I might have to bend that rule, but I'm, I'm definitely, mentally I'm trying to have a sense of urgency with the intros and outros um, because I recognize that it's like a vital part about what makes the series great. The interaction that we have, that's like the backbone of the whole series. Um, and I definitely don't want to stop doing community questions or comment shout outs. I really like doing that. And I feel like it's important to, to build a rapport with you guys to be communicative. Communicative. Um, so at least two videos a month, hopefully more than that. Um, we're going to see how it goes in the first session and the, the first editing of that. Um, oh yeah, for those of you guys that don't know, I did get a new computer. Uh, you may or may not be able to see the reflection of it kind of in the TV over there. 
it's over here on my coffee table. Um, I did get a new laptop in uh, October, um, and it's fantastic. Uh oh, I got a thing. Oh, that's okay. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, I got a new computer, and uh, it is so much faster than my last one. So I'm hoping that'll that'll really help speed up the editing process. Um, another thing I hope to start doing now in regards to my new computer is um, I'm thinking about making Kingdom Hearts 2, the new Let's Play, in 1080p. All the videos. Um, if you guys remember in my Kingdom Hearts 1 playthrough, the first episode was 1080p. Just to show off, because it was like the first day that the PlayStation 4 version came out and I was showing off the graphics um, on the remastered version or on the PS4 version. Um, and then from then on, I did 720p. I mostly always do 720p videos. And that is mostly because it was just like 1080p videos on my old computer were so slow. Um, so now this new computer, I've tried 1080p videos and it edits them like a champ. It's amazing. Um, so um, I am still a little bit worried about file size difference, which is also another reason I've always kept doing... 720p to save space on hard drives, um, but I'm very strongly considering doing 1080p for the whole thing from now on, at least for that series. Um, so for those of you that that matters to, for me it doesn't. Also, I, I always like I mostly like 90% of the time I watch YouTube on my phone, so 1080p versus 720p it wasn't really ever a big thing for me. But um, for those of you that um, that do appreciate that. There you go. Hopefully I'll be doing that. Um, another thing I kind of wanted to address is um, at least a couple of you guys have expressed to me in terms of saving time and the intro and outro and stuff um, have suggested possibly doing the community question while I'm playing the game. Um, but for two reasons I don't want to do that. Um, the main one is that I feel like I get way too distracted by the game. Like, once I'm in the game, I'm in the game. And it'll just take me the whole episode to get through the question because I'll have to keep coming back to it after I get distracted by something or other in the game. Um, and then the second reason is that... Um, blah, 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 blah. Oh my god, I forgot it! What in the world? <laughs> my brain just, like, fried! Um, <laughs> Y'all saw it live. Um, oh yeah, because um, I like to give the viewers, you guys, like, every possible option that you can get. Um, I like to do everything I can to give you guys, like, the most freedom when watching my videos. Um, and a part of that is the option to skip the intros. Um, so I like having it be kind of a separate thing um, that you can just hit the timestamp in the description and go right to the gameplay if you don't want to be a part of that. Um, but if you do, then you can just hang out and watch the whole thing. Um, so I like giving you guys as many choices as possible. Um, so that's another reason why I do not want to uh, try to blend the, the community questions into the actual gameplay portion of the videos. Um, what else do I have? Um, da -da 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 -da, one community question per video, one shout out per session. Um, been re-watching, taking highlight notes. At least two vids per month. Shorter, but more. It looks like I wrote considerate, but <laughs> that's not the word. Uh, consistent is what I should have written. I can't tell. It's so tiny. Um, but, uh, and so that's actually all I have to say about that, you guys. I have two questions now. Two things that we have already talked about, both of them, um, in previous videos. But I just, like, want to get the final verdict on these things because this is the time. I'm gonna get your comments to this video and then I'm gonna record the video. Or I'm gonna record the session of multiple videos. Um, so the first one, this is something I've been thinking about. Um, what difficulty should I play on? And at this point, honestly, it's not so much a discussion of proud versus critical like it was in the past. Now, I'm talking more like, do you think critical, and if so, convince me. Um, because re-watching my Kingdom Hearts 1 playthrough, prior to that, 
I was like solidly on the fence. I could go either way. I wasn't sure um, if I should do critical or not. Uh, mostly because I, I might have mentioned this as well. Um, the game Fury, F-U-R-I. Uh, I played it on Twitch a while back now. Um, but it was a game that really changed how I feel about difficulty in games overall. Um, it was a very difficult game. Um, died a lot to try to like learn the enemies and and then overcome in the end and it was like a really good experience and I was surprised I had such a good time playing that game because I hate the Souls games and like most other games that are like difficult. I like to just go into games and have a good time and just have fun um, and dying all the time is not particularly fun for me um, but for whatever reason I really enjoyed Fury and that kind of gave me a whole new perspective on difficulty in games. Uh, therefore, I was more susceptible to playing Critical, but then re-watching Kingdom Hearts 1 recently, um, I've been thinking that I'm really, really leaning towards Proud now. Um, for one, I really don't mind um, gathering all the little items or whatever and doing all the, the mini-games and things to complete the journal, which I would need to do to get the secret ending. Um, I don't mind doing that kind of stuff. I like doing little things and just checking off boxes on my to-do list um, and like I just feel like and I know I think it's been discussed already that Kingdom Hearts 2 is a little bit easier than Kingdom Hearts 1 was because I just did normal difficulty in Kingdom Hearts 1 on Kingdom Hearts 1 I'm getting like I'm trying to talk fast because I'm so self-conscious about time um, in Kingdom Hearts 1 I did normal difficulty and there were still a handful of bosses that gave me a really tough time. Um, specifically, I'm thinking about the Olympus Gold Match, episode 45, um, where I literally played for like three hours, um, just fighting the same boss again and again and again until I finally beat him. And, and it's cool because I was proud I guess when I finally beat them and the excitement of like yeah I did it oh my god it was it was a moment when I totally when I finally beat them um, but the actual video of the winning fight was just like I was like dead silent because I was just like had to be like so focused um, and I just don't think that makes entertaining videos um, and I know you guys are into different things but I'm just not a competitive kind of player. Um, I would much rather go through this series and maintain my happy-go-lucky spirit and and attitude um, that I think you guys have come to know me for having. Uh, and I'm afraid that if I do critical mode, it will not be as fun for me. Um, so while I do respect, um, you know, the grind and like really learning and mastering the skills. And, uh, and all of that stuff, and overcoming opponents through trials and tribulation. Um, I just feel like I don't want to struggle through the entire game. I think it's going to take what Kingdom Hearts really means to me away from it, from the, from the series, from me. Um, because really what it's about for me is just like being silly and like laughing and, and having fun going through the whole series and experiencing the story more than like the hardcore gameplay aspects. Um, granted, like I've said before, I have not played the game obviously, so I don't know what experience to expect. Maybe the combat is like a really rewarding part of the game and like y'all have played the game and you can tell me like no, you really do, like you will enjoy the challenge of this game. Um, so, right now I'm really leaning towards Proud, but if you guys think Critical is the way to go and I would genuinely enjoy it and have a fun time, um, then convince me in the comments, please. Um, besides that, the final question, um, then I will wrap up this hopefully short-ish video, <laughs> update video, on Kingdom Hearts 2 with Mike Stone Arpiers. Um So, Kingdom Hearts 2 is the arguably the best game in the series um it is for a lot of people i've heard already say that it's like their favorite game in the series so i expect that i will have a lot of new viewers on this first episode of kingdom hearts 2 um with that in mind 
the intro and how I like what I say at the start of the video to the like the first thing that I say to the people that are watching me and my channel and the Kingdom Hearts series for the first time is very important to me. I want to leave a good first impression and I also want to quickly explain everything that is most important to know about the series and about my channel. Um, and, and as I've mentioned, I think I've asked this before of you guys, um, if not in the Kingdom Hearts series, in Twitch VODs and stuff since then. Um, I know already that I want to talk, you know, I want to bring up the community questions and, and talk about, like, the, how much pride I have in the channel and the community that we've made and how we're all so diverse and how we all get along so well and it's just, like, a really fun community um, to chat with. Um, and how, like, we're very active in the comments, and part of doing that is the community questions to help us learn more about each other and engage with each other more. Um, so I want to talk about that. I also want to talk about... Oh, I thought I had these written down. I also want to talk about um, the fact that it's, like, a live YouTube series in that I record a session, edit it, post it right away, and then I wait to get all your feedback and your comments on it and then we like engage and we discuss and then I record the next session with like all of your tips in mind and so you guys have like a real serious effect on the series. Um, so I want to mention that as well because that's very important. Um, I also want to talk about like specifically what I've got in the descriptions of all my videos because I'm afraid that some people don't notice that I have timestamps always to skip past the intro to get right to the gameplay. Um, I also have like a a semi-spoilery um, synopsis of every episode in the description. Um, and I also list specifically, this is episode two out of three of the session. So the next episode, is, so you know ahead of time that like, oh, he already played the next episode, he, he did the next part already. Um, so you can kind of tailor your comments to that. Um, but, but that's really all I can think to say at this point. Um, I guess also briefly describe how I am going into this game blind, and uh, I recently played King... Oh, not recently, but I've played Kingdom Hearts 1 and Rechain and Reverse Rebirth uh, blind on the channel. You know, check those series out before this if you're interested, if you want to be all caught up with me in my specific Kingdom Hearts journey. Um, I'll also explain that it's going to be a blend of Kingdom Hearts 2 following the guide uh, created by Blaze who is now going by Coves, I've noticed. Uh, shout out Coves now, I guess. Uh, that's cool. Um, but following uh, his guide um, to strategically watch the 358 over two days cutscenes intermittently in between certain parts of the Kingdom Hearts 2 story. Um, so I'm gonna mention that. But what else um, should I say to the newbies for the channel. You guys, uh, I'm asking you because you all were at one point a new person watching my channel for the first time, and now you guys are experienced veterans of my comment section and my series, at least the Kingdom Hearts series, hopefully more than that though. Um, what would you tell people? What do you think I should tell new people about the channel and the series? Um, at the get-go. Um, and that's it. <laughs> so tell me your answers to those questions. Convince me to play Critical if you think I should. Um, and, and what kind of things should I say to newcomers on the first episode of the new series. And, uh, and to recap, um, Kingdom Hearts 2, I'll be recording the first session um, before this month is over. And I will edit it right away, and I, as soon as I get the first episode edited, I will post it. And, uh, and you guys are free to watch it and comment, and I look forward to all the interactions we're going to have. I'm really looking forward to the game. Um, I'm like, I'm wicked excited, and I'm like nervous because I don't know what's going to happen in the story. Um, oh my god, it's going to be so cool. I'm very excited, and I know it's like all of your favorite game, so I don't even know, like I can't even, like I'm not even ready for how much I'm going to enjoy this. It will be awesome! I expect like a really amazing time and I'm so glad that you guys are going to be there to join me again for another Kingdom Hearts game. Um, 
uh, and that's it. Um, I'm going to be doing at least two videos a month is my goal. Um, they're going to be shorter episodes, but they're going to be out more often. It's not going to be like Rechain where they were coming out very sparingly. Um, I'm only going to be do I'm only going to be doing one community question per episode to save time on the you know sometimes too long of intros um, and uh, comment shout outs going to be saved for the very end of the session not the end of the episodes and won't be every episode unless I get a ton of new comments in which case maybe I will do one an episode but try to make them quick um, so yeah that is it for this episode of Mike Center Updates. Um, please uh, comment and let me know your thoughts on everything. Um, in addition to that, I will, like I said, be posting another episode of Mike Center Updates um, relatively soon to the release of this video, um, talking about my resolutions, my 2018, 2019, the, the things I've been batting around and procrastinating on for a while. If you've been keeping up with the channel, you'd know that I knocked out a couple of those already. Um, and I'll talk about that more, and uh, I'll talk about, really, the video is talking about a lot of stuff coming out in the future that I'm very excited about, and I also have some questions, like I said, for you guys about that stuff as well, that will really help change what I do in regards to the channel, as well as interacting with you guys. So, keep a lookout for that video, um, comment on this video and tell me what you think, and uh, more importantly, check out, or be excited, get hype for Kingdom Hearts 2! It is coming soon. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your patience over the break. I really appreciate it. I didn't get too many messages asking when the heck Kingdom Hearts 2 was coming out. Um, very soon. And I'm very excited to start a new journey with you guys in the Kingdom Hearts world. Um, until then, I'm Xenon Up Yours. Thank you very much for watching. And I will talk to you later. Bye! Look at this fire. It's so toasty and warm. Ah, I love it so much. Put my head in there. Ah! <laughs> no, just kidding. It's not warm. I have the heat turned off. But what if I had it on and I forgot and I just did that as a joke and I was like, oh my god, and it really like just messed me up. Nah, it's cool. It's not. It's literally cool. Oh my god. I'm just gonna go under here now. Take a nap in my super soft blanket. Bye. <laughs> Just gotta slither on out of here, out of frame. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god.